Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fighters Mythology. Today we will be continuing with the Russian Aircraft Showcase with uh, the TU-160. Now the TU-160 is a supersonic strategic bomber that was made by the Soviets towards the end of the Cold War. As a result, with the fall of the Soviet Union, they only made around 30 of them, give or take, I think. So there's not that many, but in Roll, it's kind of like a bigger, badder B-1B bomber. So, today what we'll be doing is we'll be simulating uh, one of its roles as an anti-ship missile carrier with a strike on a French naval fleet in the, in the um, Black Sea. So, that's not what I want. I really wish these had a drop down like uh, everything else. Yeah. All right, so that looks good. So for the French defensive air force, we'll give them five Rafale M's, which Rafale wasn't introduced into service until 2001, but. It was in development since the 80s, so I think it's close enough that we can say they rushed deployment of a couple types for uh, the Ukraine war. Just like we had the uh, navalized F-22 for the Ukraine war and the F-22. And then um, the French Navy also operated the um, French specific F-8 Crusaders, up until the early 2000s, I believe, when the Raphael started to replace them, so we'll have F-8 Jake Crusaders in as a stand-in for those, and we'll do a Dawn Raid, something a little bit different than usual. So with that, I think, uh, let's look at our weapons loadout now. And we see no self-defense armor. The uh, T-160 was actually the first Soviet bomber in forever, I think, to have a... <coughs> excuse me. To not have a self-defense armament. Um, but we see we can carry 12 AS-16 kickback missiles. Which, these are big, heavy anti-ship missiles, so these will be perfect for taking out ships. We can see just one could probably stand a chance at overwhelming a lone ship if they launched all 12 at once. So, and we got four guys, so we're looking at a 48 missile swarm. So, let's get to it. So we got a nice new cockpit, actually. Tell our guys to tighten up. We can see our escort there. And we see an impressively large fuel load. It will take forever to run out of that. There's some MiG 29s. Four, three, five. And it looks like the game and it's up oh, and its infinite wisdom has auto-generated the fleet with a lot of Chinese ships, unfortunately. But we do see here is our target. I think that mast is ridiculously oversized. But this is one of the old French conventional carriers of the uh, folk class, I believe it was. And this is its twin, the Clemenchu. I'm probably butchering that hovercraft. Four feet mile. <laughs> Just roll right over there. But yeah, they have an Three escort of a bunch of mile. Chinese Type 69s, which is weird. That because I think there are a couple French ships here. Three feet mile. Contact your twelve o'clock phone. Oh, you can already see us. Hey, 
we are almost from Sonic, but we're going to order our wingmen to attack ships. I did not want to climb a skirt, but well. Green one mile. So let's see. I don't see a lock on yet for miles. Weird actually. Oh, we should probably have to get ourselves to One mile. Okay, we'll, put, we'll drop down to 10,000 feet and see if that happens. One mile. And we are now going supersonic. One nine mile. One seven mile. One five mile. One six mile. Eleven o'clock. Twenty mile. That's so weird that it's not. I mean, they're in visual range. Yeah. One eight mile. One o'clock. Seven miles. Target. There we go. Now we got a... That is weird. You know, this must be something so that way the AI doesn't launch these from 50 miles out. That's gotta be what this is. Miles. These things are supposed to have like, super long range, so let's. Test fire. Let's see if I actually hold this in. Now it's holding. Why is the mission a failure? Did it just fail us for blowing up the mule on the deck? Because that would be the dumbest thing ever. But yeah, you can see that carrier is a tough, tough little guy. See our friendlies are uh can see the weapons fail from there. Looks like our friendlies have some gear in the sky. Seven miles, one o'clock. Six miles. And... Launch. Deploy, deploy. Sam launch, four miles, eleven o'clock. And we have destroyed the French carrier. Contact ship, your seven eight miles. Okay, let's see if we can do a flyby of the, of the corpse. I will 
obviously this is, I mean, it's expected, but this is so much different than flying the fighter. So let's head north and we're going to land at uh, one of our runways, I think. We'll let our wingmen, uh, we'll see what they do if they actually, we'll see if they actually uh, launch any successful attacks or not. Fam launch. Oh, there they go, now they'll launch it. But yeah, these missiles, we should have been able to fire them right from the start, so I'm guessing that uh, they nerfed the range, because we, we end up flying a lot of intercept missions. And I think they must have thought that, you know, if they could launch them from 50 miles away, the player wouldn't stand a chance with the way they design missions, so... They must have uh, reduced the range. I'm taking a shot. For that fact. Beautiful. And they decided to go after the hovercraft with their giant anti ship missiles. Okay, guys. <laughs> so we do Fam have a ways to go, but we have plenty of fuel to burn. And we can see we're a pretty durable aircraft too. We didn't even I'm take taking a shot. damage, and that was flying right, right over the uh, right over the moment show. And it's an aircraft fire. Deploy. All right. Fam launch. And we are just about at Mach two here. One mile. Close target. See if we can land this I'm taking down. a shot. All right. See, even at 100% we're in about Mach 1, so I guess perhaps the bomber has, uh, at least when it's empty, potentially super cruise a little bit. Nine miles, three o'clock. Nine miles, one o'clock.
I, I figured it'd be easier to slow this guy down. That's a testament to just how powerful the en these engines are. We need a mile, we probably need a mile long runway at least, and this is definitely nowhere near a mile long. As it is, I mean, we take up the, uh, you can see we take up the whole darn tarmac. We could fit maybe two of us there, but but there, that's the T one sixty. The T one sixty, and um, yeah, we destroyed all eleven targets. We did it. I think it counted those mules as friendly. I think that's what went on there, because we have no. Yeah, we have no hits on air to air, which are the only real friendlies that would have been there. So that's just a glitch in the game. But uh, yeah, that's the uh, TU-160, and you can see how our uh, 
our one aircraft was able to sink the carrier. And granted, the game nerfed us and made us do it from just about point blank range, but if you can imagine doing that from 100 or 200 nautical miles out, you can see why it could be a very fearsome aircraft for fleets. That's why the F-14 was made to intercept guys like this. So. so next time we will be looking at the other Soviet strategic bomber, the Tu-95. Until then, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.